General, you've uh, no doubt heard about the Democratic Party's complaint about the debate and basically accusing you of, of lying to try to get out of it earlier. What is your response to that? Uh, no truth in that whatsoever, Ben. I think I explained this on uh, Lee Lonsberry's show, but just to kind of repeat, uh, to make sure everybody's clear, uh, we wanted a debate. You can tell I'm not shy about getting in and talking about the issues. Um, <clears throat> we, we've been out and about. We've done a number of events that are debate-like, where we, we stand up and answer questions. Uh, we've asked all of those who haven't voted yet, and we've asked people to not vote, until they've watched the debate, I want them to see. I want them to see the difference between what a proven leader is and somebody who runs a five-person firm, and probably not even that well, who wants to take over a 500-person law office. So what happened, Ben, back in July, when the debate commission first put out dates, my team went back and said, look, Sean's dad passed away. I mean, that was known. Um, we're trying to coordinate schedules with a lot of family. Polynesian families are big. Hawaii is a difficult place to work with in terms of the state, and you've got the mortuary and everything else. The date that they had picked was one of several dates where we had a chance to go back and bury my dad on the big island of Hawaii with my mom. My team communicated to the debate commission and said, do you want to take the risk that we commit, but if this opens up, Reyes is going to go bury his dad? And he understands, and he's not going to hold it against you. You can even have a solo event with Scordis, like I did in 2016 when my Democrat opponent didn't show up. And the debate commission said, no, that's not what we want to do. We want to have a real debate. And so my team went back and said, look, there, again, there's several dates in here that aren't going to work. Can you give us a date that will work? And they came back with a date. They must have checked it with my opponent's team because they came back and said it all works out, and it happened to be today's date. Again, <clears throat> we didn't think anything of it. And we certainly didn't misrepresent what was going on. Now, I understood my opponent said, my team told somebody that that was the exact date that I was flying out to bury my dad. I can see how those things can get misinterpreted. I'm not blaming anybody on the debate commission, but my team was pretty clear because we've never had a date specific. We're still trying to work with schedules to get my dad buried. And it's, we still don't have that closure, but I don't know. I mean, I, again, I, 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 don't, I think that's what the Democrat Party does. Uh, they, they send that stuff out. They send out, um, you know, information that's not totally accurate on legislative races. So I, I don't know. Again, check the credibility on that. Mr. Attorney General, yesterday we saw the gubernatorial candidates come out with a joint ad talking about civility. In, huh. in this campaign process. I haven't seen it. Is it? All right, but it, well, you, it's uh, Mr. Peterson and, and Mr. Cox talking about accepting the outcome of the general election, but it, in broader terms, civility. Good. Uh, and, and we do have some negative uh, ads going on in Utah and some races that have turned negative, and I would say this debate tonight had some very uh, moments of sparks flying. Do, do you regret that it, it's turned negative? No, a lot. I'm, I'm actually grateful for the opportunity to clear my name. It's one thing, look, and again, my approach has always been from the first time I ran in 2012 all the way through all the re-elections that I've run. When people go low, try to stay high, right? I think that's a Clinton or Obama um, statement, but I think it's true. Uh, if I found out that my team was being negative, um, you know, they wouldn't be on my team. I don't, I don't, that's not my philosophy. That's not how I approach things. And for six months, I've sat back and let my opponent, again, make accusations of criminal conduct and all sorts of outrageous things right on his website, pay to play, just like his predecessors. The reason I ran was because the House committee said that my predecessors hung a for sale sign. And we've returned trust and integrity back to the office. So for me, I don't regret being able to defend my name. I regret that my opponent decided to make this uber negative to begin with. I don't. I haven't sent anything out about my opponent I mean, until tonight. Again, I haven't mentioned my opponent largely because I'm focused on all the things that I've accomplished. I usually don't have time with you all to explain all of the things that I've done in the AG's office that I want to continue to doing. That's why I'm running for re-election. We've built up so much momentum. We want to expand the Safe UT app. We want to expand the opioid community. We want to do more with human trafficking and fighting. We want to open more children's justice centers. So I really don't have time to get into that, but tonight, Knowing that he was going to attack me, 
I thought, what better way than let's hear from, let me call some witnesses to use legal parlance, credible witnesses, the people that he represented. And look, all of us have a client or two that's dissatisfied. I'm not going to begrudge somebody that. But it was revealing to me as I looked at these that so many of them and such a preponderance of them had the same kinds of comments about him. And so I really, my point was, again, if you're going to throw stones, especially ones alleging criminal conduct, make sure that you're not throwing them from a very, very glass house, lad. Nope. Go Dodgers. And uh, you know what? Can I just mention, uh, I, I, I just found out about this on the way. A dear friend of mine named Colin Karchner passed. And um, <clears throat> this guy is a warrior for protecting our youth and our young people. I don't care what your political background is. I don't care what you think about anybody in this particular political race. I, I hope people take some time to just reflect on the loss uh, of a great Utah who did so much to help strengthen and lift people who are in dark places, protect our, our young people. And again, if I have a message, again, this, this office, what I want it to be about is protecting kids, protecting families, protecting young people. It's, it's the most important thing that I do. And Colin Karchner was one of those people that will be sorely missed. So um, thank you for indulging me. I, I literally, on the way over, um, found out and haven't had a chance to even reach out to his family. Thanks. Thank you.